Though the Flames did not have the year they planned for, the Liberty Referee team were still able to compete in their shortened season and found success along the way. Now heading into the new year, we sat down with one of the team's coaches to talk about last season. And sitting down with me today is the head coach of the rifle team, Marlene Gray. Marlene, thanks for sitting down with us. Yes, thank you for inviting me. Now I know for you guys, like a lot of teams, you didn't have kind of the normal year that you normally are usually expecting. But for you guys, you still had the opportunity to compete. So tell us about last season. We were still able to do our postals with the Western Intercollegiate Rifle Conference because for four months we do um, postal, so they basically are virtual matches. And then we did get the opportunity to go to Akron and compete um, shoulder to shoulder with the teams that were able to travel. There wasn't as many teams from other colleges that could go, but we did have the opportunity to still have that shoulder to shoulder competition. And then within five weeks, um, NRA wasn't going to do the nationals, so the American Small Bore Shooting Association put together an awesome national competition for us. So we did get to go to Fort Wayne, Indiana. So the team was just thrilled to be able to go to a national competition. And talk a little about now, obviously, for the team, because last season you kind of had a different type of off-season because of all the COVID regulations and really you didn't even get to go into the off-season like you normally like to because competitions got canceled. So talk a little about this off-season for the team and trying to prepare for this new year. Um, some of the students have gone back to their home ranges and they've been able to compete and practice this summer, which was excellent for them. Um, some of them still had no opportunity to shoot, but uh, we really ramped up our uh, strength and conditioning. Asked them, hey, get out there and do some hiking or do some running, do some you know, walking and do some core strengthening. Um, so they've all been reporting into me saying they're working hard to get strong uh, to come back. So that's really helped. And some of our incoming freshmen have maybe still compete this summer. So uh, we do these two knock the rust off days to kind of remind them, hey, you know, this is the end of the muzzle. This is the, end of the, this is the target. So we're looking forward to starting out at a higher level of um, competition this year. And yeah, obviously every year since you've been the named the head coach, the team has progressed every season. Talk a little about what it's been like growing this program because obviously not only has the skill gone up, but then also the quality of shooter has gone up as well. And then also some of the other things you're doing, not just on the competition field, but off the range as well. Yes, well, we're very excited. Each year we've seen a growth in our program. I'm just getting started and just the logistics of equipment and finding range time and get the, comp you know, get the training in. Uh, the first year we didn't even know where the Western Conference uh, Championship even was. But we went to nationals the first year, which was awesome. But we met a bunch of the other colleges and other teams and could see, you know, hey, this is where the competitions are happening. So since we joined the Western Intercollegiate Rifle Conference, um, the competition experience and opportunities for us has grown. Um, since then, uh, Coach Kevin and I have been able to go to some coaching training, which allows us to meet other coaches and see uh, we're being invited to come to upcoming uh, invitationals, which gives our competitors more opportunity to compete and practice and be ready to go to nationals. And now with this upcoming season, which hopefully we'll have a regular year for you guys, but uh, yeah, talk a little bit about this upcoming year and what we can expect from the rifle team. Well, we're very excited. We have five returning students that did excellent last year at nationals. They each did some PRs. They, they have been improving. Um, you, you shoot a certain level to get to that next level takes a little bit more work and they're they're motivated and they're excited about returning. We have three incoming freshmen that have excellent experience and they're gonna do be an excellent um, asset to our team but we get to meet all the girls, they're they're wonderful and so I think they're gonna fit really well with our team. We still have an opportunity to um, have tryouts and I can take on one more student. I always like having walk-ons. Um, last year we had one student with a walk-on and she excelled tremendously. Um, so we're willing to still have tryouts and see if there's somebody else on campus that maybe be able to uh, learn the skills and, and shoot really well. So the team is excited and enthusiastic. I'm looking forward to doing more things together as a team. Uh, but you can just sense an energy when I'm talking to students. They're just very excited. You know, COVID's hard for everybody. It's been hard, it's been hard for the whole country. Um, and there were some disappointments. You know, the, we weren't able to go to nationals in 2020. So starting last year's season was kind of sad. Um, but the students have grown, grown closer, um, taking care of all the you know, regulations and wearing masks. And they, it, they grew stronger together and they stayed focused. And so we're looking forward to this year of putting all these disciplines together and just seeing you know, what kind of scores we can get on the range. Well, awesome, Marlene. Well, thank you again for sitting down with us. And yeah, can't wait to see how you guys do this upcoming year. Thank you. Appreciate sitting down with you.